What is going on you guys? Welcome to today's video. First things first, the sun is shining. I gotta show you the caliper color in the sun. We saw it last time with a flash on it, but it doesn't do justice. Ready for this? Look at this absolute beauty just shining in the sun. All that beautiful like silver and gold flake in there. I mean, these things came out incredible. Whew, that color is so good. So good. Now, something I mentioned in the last video was the sticker. I love the sticker itself. I love the color, but something just felt kind of off with it, whether it was too big, um, whatever the case would be, just felt kind of off. And the reason for that, I realized this sticker, the font is correct, but it's too tall. I'll put a picture on the screen right here. You can see this one versus like an OEM Porsche one. Um, it's the same font, it's just squished down. So I do have new stickers coming. We're gonna swap it out. Same silver, um, just to correct squished down like OEM Porsche font. And then these things will be perfect. Now I did have a lot of people say they actually like this sticker quite a bit. And honestly, I do as well. I think it all looks very, very good, but it is slightly different from OEM. So. We're gonna change it. So now the plan for today, we are reassembling these beefy, beefy calipers. So powder coating is done, all taken care of. Now we have brand new pads. We have rebuild kits, new seals, new dust covers um, for each one. Uh, the crossover bar here that goes across the bottom, I think I'm gonna do in a gloss black. I was torn between doing it in silver or doing it in black, but I think black across the bottom will be nice and subtle and it'll match the color of the car. So these today will get painted black. I have to go through and clean up these and also our side pins here. And then we have all of our pistons in there. So it's gonna work. Let me grab my nice little lawn chair here. I was gonna work in the garage, but honestly, it's like perfect outside today. So we're setting up shop outside, ready to go. Actually, before I go ahead and start rebuilding these, I'm gonna go through and paint our crossover bar first. That way these can dry while I'm doing this. And once it's all done, these should be done and go back on the caliper. So our very high quality and high tech paint booth is complete. Bam and bam. These are been sandblasted, they're good to go. We're using the Rust-Oleum Engine Enamel uh, High Temp Gloss Black. So, here's your before, I'll show you the after. You know, I was torn between gloss black or silver for the crossover bars because the black matches the car, but silver would match the wheels, but I definitely think the gloss black was definitely the move. A little more subtle, but the black will match the back of the car. I think it'll be a very nice touch to the calipers. So, with those drying in the lovely, let's just appreciate it's good old Florida sun. Now we can start assembling these things. We have seals right here, brake fluid used as lubricant, and all of our pistons right there. Let's get started. All right, so first thing we're gonna do here is get all of our pistons sorted. Like I showed before, on the 17Z caliper, from the bottom side where the crossover bar goes to the top, it goes from largest to smallest in terms of uh, piston diameter. It's kind of hard to tell, you can kind of see in there, but this one here is the largest and medium than smallest. So, I had to go through, can I put them all in one bag? This one looks like the largest, you can see some of the differences right there. This one right here will be our largest one, and this is either medium or small. The medium and small is very, very different, like slight changes, you can see it there. Hopefully you can see on this side right here, there's a slight change. So this is our largest one, this is a medium, and this is a small one. So we'll do it again. That's a large one. This is a medium one. And we need one more small. Perfect. So large, medium, small, sorted. And then inside of this box here, with all of our new seals, we're also gonna have a small, medium, and large seal and a small, medium, and large uh, dust cover. So it really only fits into one spot for the most part. You can't really mess it up unless you're like just slamming something into place. Um, but take your time and make sure you size everything correctly and then also put all the sizes to the correct um, piston port. Again, it's from the bottom to the top, small, medium, large, and you're good to go. I don't know if the 18Z is the same as 17Z, but on these calipers, um, that's how it goes. All right, so going through our bag of seals here, we have our large, our medium, and our small. This is the outer dust cover. And then for our seals here as well, you'll have your small, medium, large. Just go through and make sure you size check everything. So small, medium, large, good to go. Two for each one. I have a small cap full of brake fluid here to use as like assembly lube um, because obviously brake fluid will go through here. So we've got our pistons laid out. We have our seals laid out. We have our O-rings laid out. 
ready to go. I'm gonna start with these ones. This should be our large one. I'm gonna double check, make sure the right size. Perfect, so that's good to go. Probably should check before assembly time, but it's okay. I'm going to make a huge mess doing this, but it is what it is. So we'll just do a little bit on here. And then we'll see how much fun it is to actually pop these back in. Normally it's the like dust cover, it's kind of a pain, but on these ones, how it goes is actually pretty simple. So this entire rebuild process shouldn't be too difficult to do. Unless these seals here decide to annoy me, but I think we'll be all right. Get in there. Yeah, got it. Come on, come on. Is that it? Voila. Seal number one is in. You want to make sure on these ones that everything's sitting flush and you don't have like a crooked corner of it. That when you push the piston in, it doesn't like pinch up or bind or break the seal. Because then later on, when you go to actually try and bleed the system and fill the brake fluid, it'll be leaking. And you'll have to start all over, which is no fun. So that one feels good. Cool. So I'll go through, get all the rest of these in place, and then I'll show you how to do the seal on top of the piston, and we'll do that next. And with that, all of our new inner seals have been replaced. Hope you can see down inside there. But those are good to go. The largest one and the smallest one fought me a bit. The middle ones just pop right in. So take your time. I usually hold the bottom side and kind of work it around. Sometimes they're a pain, but it wasn't too bad. So those are done. Next up will be pistons with the uh, outer seal here. All right, so with these ones, same thing. We're going to put a little bit of brake fluid around our piston here. That'll help it slide back into the cylinder itself easier. This is our largest one with our largest seal. We're gonna go over the top. We wanna pop this inner section here into this top ring around the uh, the piston. Should be able to let's put a little bit up here. The last thing we wanna do is tear one of our brand new seals. That would kind of ruin my day. So, should look like that. You can see how it fits flush to there. And you can see it fits nice and tight into the gap right under the, uh, the top there. So with these ones, all you gotta do, slide the piston all in. Once it's at the bottom, simply push this section down. You can see where, well, I'll show you in a minute. Um, there's a little gap where all these just pop in place and that should be it I'm gonna double check this is seated properly which it looks like it is go ahead and again this is bottom correct yes which obviously the largest one won't fit in their hole so has to be Let me do a little more of this here get it lined up and should be able to just push it all the way in so I've got it part of the way in but it kind of feels like I'm getting caught on the seal so I'm gonna pull it back out and then relubricate the inside more so it can slide past the seal because we don't want to jam at the seal and pinch it 
Yeah, I think I'm stuck right at the seal. So I'm gonna pull it back out, re-lubricate everything, and then uh, we'll try it again. You know, one of the best feelings ever when you think your camera's recording and it's just not. So I missed that entire last bit, but the first one you can see there is now in. Outer seal, pop it into place, piston back into place, good to go. Make sure you use plenty of brake fluid or silicone grease to the piston slide in. But now this one's good to go. We have five more to do. We're on our way. All right, so after I got the process figured out, look at that. Done and done. Seals, O-rings, everything's good to go. The caliper looks beautiful. It's powder coated. We got all fresh internals. I just really want to take a minute to appreciate how beautiful this color came out. And with the palm trees and the blue sky, like this is whole vibe right here. number two has officially been freshly rebuilt all good to go one of the larger ones i think it was this one gave me a little bit of trouble but we used our c-clamp here and slowly worked it in and now we are good to go so next i want to go through uh get this retainer clip that holds the pads right there and our slide pin here cleaned up and we go ahead and toss the pads in and uh pretty much done i might wait till tomorrow before i put on the lower crossover bar just so it's fully dry but at least today seals are done we'll have the pads in and they're like 99 percent of the way there so my original plan was to go through clean the last pieces and assemble everything but these i didn't realize were actually painted silver uh the calipers were painted silver before we had it sandblasted off but i didn't realize under all like the brake dust these and these were painted silver which is this we can see looks pretty bad and it's just kind of uh kind of worn so all the pieces, all the accent pieces on the caliper are gonna go gloss black. So I'm gonna paint these. And then tomorrow, once everything's dry, we can go through and reassemble because I don't wanna have, you know, that. Everything's brand new, everything's powder coated, everything's nice and painted. So I'm not gonna put these crusty pieces where you can see them back on the calipers. Now, if they were in spots that you couldn't see, I wouldn't mind so much, but this one is gonna sit right there front and center. You're gonna see that. And then this one sits right here. So. I just want to have them all painted. These will go gloss black, gloss black, gloss black. It all tie in very nicely together. They look good. So my original plan was actually to paint the entire slide pin, but I realized that probably be a bad idea because this has to go through here. And if we make it thicker with more paint, it's not going to slide through as nice. And the pads have to sit on each side and slide them down on this. So we're just going to paint just the top. I took some scotch bright and cleaned up the entire thing so it's nice and good. And that'll look fine inside the caliper. We're gonna paint just the top section. You can see like that. Just the top section will be painted black. Okay, here we are. All of our very nice gloss black pieces have been painted. These will sit overnight till tomorrow and then we'll come back and assemble everything. And then at that point, the calipers will be officially done. All right, well, the day is now Wednesday. Probably should finish this video at this point. The plan was to reassemble the calipers after that dried yesterday on Tuesday, but then I saw my stickers, the new ones for the calipers, were supposed to be here today on Wednesday. Then they got delayed out of New Jersey, I think it was, so um, they won't be here till Friday. So these have now been drying for two days, and a lot of time with spray paint, I make the mistake and I get impatient, I wanna rush and put it together, and I end it with fingerprints in my nice paint. So let it dry for two days, it's nice and gloss black, nice and shiny. So these are good to go. They're fully dry at this point. We can reassemble the calipers. And then on Friday, we'll toss on the new stickers. All right, so first step, I got the top bleeders screwed back in. I decided to be smart this time and actually use my thread cleaning tool to go through and clean out all the threads uh, top and bottom before I try and screw this in because last time doing these calipers is actually the back left, I want to say. Uh, the bleeder valve stripped out. Had a whole issue, had to get a whole new caliper. Um, we might have been able to do a helicoil on it, but at the time, I was just faster to order a whole new caliper and restart the process. But with these ones, I don't want to have to order new ones or find more. So being very precautious, cleaning out all the thread holes. That way, everything threads in perfectly, and there is uh, no issues later. So top sides are done. I'm going to clean out the bottom side, and then uh, 
these can go in. You know, for a minute, I kind of regretted doing all the accent pieces in gloss black. I kind of thought maybe the silver would have been a better look, but look at that. Beautiful. So red for the calipers, gloss black to match the gloss black of the car. I think that is a very nice touch. So this one is officially done, minus a new sticker that'll be here Friday. Um, powder coat's done, seals are done, crossover bar's done, bleeders are on, got tossed on the pads. But yeah, gloss black, definitely the move. Okay, so aside from the new stickers that'll be here Friday, the calipers are officially done and these things came together incredible. There they are, our freshly rebuilt 17Z calipers. In the beautiful Illusion Cherry Red, all of our accent pieces are done in the gloss black. This piece right in the front, the gloss black, very, very nice finishing touch. It all flows together very well. And overall, I am extremely pleased with how it came out. Again, the sticks will be our Friday. We'll swap that out and we'll have the exact OEM um, sizing everything and that'll be good to go. But other than that, they're done and they look sick. So we are one step closer to actually putting the 17Zs on the wagon. I have ordered the adapter bracket. That should be here early next week. And then after that, I just have to order the rotors for the front, um, the R32 334 by 32 rotors. And then that is everything. And the whole setup can go on the car. Euro Tripper is definitely creeping up very quickly, but currently we're sat in a pretty good position. The Zender front bumper is currently in primer. The rest of the piece will go to Jack very soon. Um, the calipers are done, waiting on two more pieces, and those can go on the car. So still a lot to do, but time-wise, I think we're think we're okay. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.